Hello students, today we are going to learn about MHC molecules. First, we'll have a brief introduction. MSC molecules are membrane-bound glycoproteins encoded by the major histocompatibility complex, MSC, which bind peptide fragments derived from pathogens and display them on the cell surface for recognition by appropriate T cells. The consequences are almost always deleterious to the pathogen. Virus-infected cells are killed, macrophages are activated to kill bacteria, living in the intracellular vesicles and B cells are activated to produce antibodies that eliminate or neutralize extracellular pathogens. The major histocompatibility complex is a collection of genes arrayed with a long continuous stretch of DNA on chromosome 6 in humans and chromosome 17 in mice. The MSC is referred to as the HLA complex in humans and H2 complex in mice. Although the arrangement of genes is somewhat different, in both cases, the MSC genes are organized into regions encoding three classes of molecules. Now let us see the functions of MSC in immune response. They play roles in intercellular recognition and in discrimination between self and non-self. They participate in the development of both humoral and cell-mediated immune responses. Most T cells recognize antigen only when it is combined with a MSC molecule. They act as antigen presenting structures. The particular set of MSC molecules expressed by an individual influences the repertoire of antigens to which the individual's TH and TC cells can respond. The partly determines the response of an individual to antigens of infectious organisms and it has therefore been implicated in the susceptibility to disease and in the development of autoimmunity. Natural killer cells express receptors for MHC class 1 antigens and the fact that the receptor MHC interaction may lead to inhibition or activation expands the known role of this gene family. The rich polymorphism of the MHC region represents a species response to maximize protection against diverse microorganisms. An apparent example is the malaria-driven selection at the HLA B locus, whereby resistance to severe malaria resulting from strains of Plasmodium falciparum in East Africa is associated with HLA DRB1-0101, whereas HLA DRB1-1302 confers resistance to West African strains of the parasite. The MSC encodes three major classes of molecules. One, class one MSC genes encode glycoproteins expressed on the surface of nearly all nucleated cells. The major function of the class one gene products is presentation of the peptide antigens to TC cells. It consists of a heavy polypeptide chain of 44 kilodalton, non-covalently linked to a smaller 12 kilodalton polypeptide called beta-2 microglobulin. The largest part of the heavy chain is organized into three globular domains which protrude from the cell surface. A hydrophobic section anchors the molecule in the membrane and a short hydrophilic sequence carries the C-terminus into the cytoplasm. Second one, class 2 MSC gene encodes glycoprotein expressed primarily on antigen presenting cells, macrophages, dendritic cells and B cells where they present processed antigenic peptides to TH cells. They are transmembrane glycoproteins in this case consisting of alpha and beta polypeptide chain of molecular weight 34 kilodalton and 29 kilodalton respectively. Structural studies have shown that 
the alpha 2 and beta 2 dominants, the ones nearest to the cell membrane assume the characteristic Ig form, while the alpha 1 and beta 1 dominants mimic the class 1 alpha 1 and alpha 2. The third one is the class 3 MHC genes and code various secreted proteins that have immune functions including components of the complement system and molecules involved in inflammation. A notable cluster involved four genes coding for complement components, two of which are for the C4 isotypes, C4A and C4B, and the other two of the C2 and factor B. The cytokines tumor necrosis factor TNF, sometimes referred to as the TNF alpha and lymphotoxin LT alpha and LT beta are encoded under the class 3 umbrella as are three members of human 70 kilodalton heat shock proteins. Cellular distribution of MSC molecules. Class 1 MSC molecules are expressed on most nucleated cells, but the level of expression differs from different cell types. The highest level of class 1 molecules are expressed by lymphocytes where they constitute approximately 1% of the total plasma membrane proteins or some 5 into 10 to the power of 5 molecules per cell. In contrast, fibroblast muscle cells, liver hypothyroidcytes and neural cells express very low levels of class 1 MSC molecules. MSC molecule can bind many different peptides since the MSC alleles are co-dominantly expressed. A heterozygous individual expresses on its cells the gene products encoded by both alleles at each MSC locus. The expression of so many class 1 MSC molecules allows each cell to display a large number of peptides in peptide binding clefts of its MSC molecules. Unlike class 1 MSC molecules, class 2 molecules are expressed constitutively only by special antigen presenting cells, primarily macrophages, dendritic cells, and B cells. Thymic epithelial cells and some other cell types can be induced to express class 2 molecules and to function as special antigen presenting cells under certain conditions of the understimulation of some cytokines. Peptide binding cleft. The classical MSC1 and 2 molecules contain a peptide binding site at the distal end of the molecule from the membrane. This peptide binding site is formed of two protein alpha helices lying on top of a beta pleated sheet. The binding site or the groove, it as it is often known, can accommodate a peptide of about 9 to 10 amino acids in length. Although for class 2 MSC molecules, the ends of the groove are open allowing longer peptides to extend out of the either end. A wide variety of different peptides can be bound tightly by interaction with the conserved residues in the MSC molecules and the amino acid backbone of the antigen peptide. In order to accommodate the side chains of the larger amino acids, however, the floor of the groove contains a number of pockets. It is the size and the position of these pockets which limit the range of peptides which can be accommodated. This selectivity in peptide binding means that in each individual, only a small portion of each antigen can be presented to the T cells, focusing the immune response onto only a few defined epitopes. Now we will come to the MSC genes. H2. The MSC of the mouse carried on the chromosome 17 have roles in transplant rejection and normal cell interactions. KDL. The class 1 genes of the H2 coding for a chain molecular weight 44,000 which in combination with beta 2 microglobulin makes up the four domain K, D and L molecules because 
any cell can potentially be infected by a virus class 1 antigens are expressed or virtually all cells in the body with the exception of red blood cells in some species ae the classical class 2 genes of h2 which present processed peptide antigen to the antigen receptor of cd4 t cells a and e contain separate genes for the alpha molecular weight 33000 and p molecular weight 28000 chains of the four domain molecule hla the human msc on chromosome 6 closely analogous to h2 except that the class 1 genes lie together and there are three class 2 genes a b c the classical human class 1 genes which present processed peptide antigens to the antigen receptor of the cd8 t cells a is the homologue of k in the mouse d p d q dr the classical human class 2 genes which present processed peptide antigens to the antigen receptor of the cd4 t cells the distribution of these different isoforms within the body is slightly different but it is still unclear whether each one plays a distinct role in the regulation of t cell responses class 1b genes these include qa and TLA in the mouse and E, F, G, H, J and X in the human. They play a part in controlling the innate immunity perhaps by regulating NK cell activation. The class 2 region. These include DM and DO, H2O and H2M in the mouse, class 2 MSC like molecules which regulate the loading of the peptide fragments onto dp dq and dr the region also contains lmp genes and the tap genes beta 2m beta 2 microglobulin molecular weight 12000 coded quite separately from the msc nevertheless forms part of all class 1 molecules stabilizing them on the cell surface HLA associated diseases Many diseases show genetic associations with particular HLA alleles Examples number 1 rare sleep abnormality narcolepsy which virtually only occurs in people carrying the DR2 antigen the reason is quite unknown arthropathies involving the sacroiliac joint ankylosing spondylitis, writer's disease, etc., where one HLA B27 is found in up to 95% of the cases, nearly 20 times its frequency in the general population. Numerous other diseases, including almost all the autoimmune diseases, show a statistically significant association with particular HLA antigens or group of antigens, especially in the class 2 region. The explanation probably lies in the ability or otherwise of the HLA molecule to present particular microbial peptides or alternatively self antigens. Finally, the conclusion. The major histocompatibility complex MSC comprises a stretch of tightly linked genes that encode proteins associated with intercellular recognition and antigen presentation to T lymphocytes. Class 1 MSC molecules consist of a large glycoprotein chain with three extracellular domain and a transmembrane segment and beta 2 microglobulin, a protein with a single domain. Class 2 MSC molecules are composed of two non covalently associated glycoproteins, the alpha and the beta chain, encoded by the separate MSC genes. Both class 1 and class 2 MSC molecules present antigen to the T cells. 
क्लास वन मॉलिक्यूल प्रेजेंट प्रोसेस्ड एंडोजीनस एंटीजन टू सी डी आई टी सेल्स क्लास वन मॉलिक्यूल आर एक्सप्रेस ऑन मोस्ट न्यूक्लिएटेड सेल्स क्लास टू एंटीजन आर रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू बी सेल्स माइक्रोफेजेस एंड देन राइटिक सेल्स द क्लास थ्री रीजन ऑफ द एम एस सी एंड कोर्स मॉलिक्यूल दैट इंक्लूड ए डाइवर्स ग्रुप ऑफ प्रोटीन्स दैट प्ले नो रोल इन एंटीजन प्रेजेंटेशन